Hello, I'm Jerry Estrada and welcome back to Cooking with Jerry Estrada. Today, I'm going to cook something that my special niece, Stephanie, asked me and it's a mofongo. Uh, mofongo is probably the mo one of the most famous uh, thought out uh, side dishes of Puerto Rico. Basically, it consists of using plantains, some onions, I'm going to use some bacon, it normally uses pot bellies, which is what they call chicharrones, but today I'm going to use a separate kind, which is chicharrones that are already made, like this, like pork rinds. And then I'm going to be cooking that with some onions, uh, onions, olives, a little seasoning. I'm going to use some broth. And then I'm going to also cook smoked ham pork chops. So, the first thing I'm going to do is, um, well, I'm going to do is a mofongo Puerto Rican, de los esto, acompañantes más famosos de Puerto Rico, esto, donde se consiste en usar eh, plátano verde, eh, un poquito de tocino, cebolla, ajo, esto, un poquito de chicharrón, entonces también un poquito de adobo, y yo también voy a, hacer, a cocinar unas chuletas humadas eh, que las voy a freír. Entonces voy a mostrar rapidito cómo cortar el, el plátano. Ok, I'm going to demonstrate quickly how to cut uh, the plantain. Everybody should know, I've done this in other tapes, but you cut the end here, you cut the end here, and you just, just go in a little bit, and right around the ridge here, you want to cut the, just a little bit in, right around here, score it all the way down. And once you do that, you kind of, kind of wedge it in, the knife in a little bit. Once it's done like that, see, you get the other end. Now, once I do that, I, one of my secrets is, I used to, I like to use my spoon, because see, I just push it, and I use a big spoon, and it's much more, much easier. And I like to do it sometimes underwater, because this sometimes leaves some black residues in your hands. So, just real quick. And, voila. You got yourself a green plantain ready to be cut. Now, mind you, I'm going to go ahead and prepare the other ones up. In the meantime, I'm going to cut them up and I'm going to be back once it's ready to fry. Okay? I'll see you in a little bit. Hello. Okay, I'm back. So here you go. Here's a close-up on the, the green plantains. I peeled them. I also diced and um, some, uh, some onions and I also chopped up some garlic. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and cut these up in the appropriate size. I want to show you how to cut that. I'm going to fry them. And then once we fry them over here, I'm also put some bacon to cook. And I just season them a little bit with a little bit of uh, salt and pepper. Okay? And this is going to be cooked now. And this is already warming up. And you want to cook this right about medium high. You don't want to burn them too much either. So I want to cut these up real quick. I'll show you. You want to cut these in small pieces. Like, like something like that. Not, not so thick, because it'll be easier to manage, it'll be easier to, to mash. Estos son los plátanos verdes, los voy a coger y los voy a picar en pedacitos finos, no muy gordos, para que sí se cocine mejor y puedan más rápido y a la misma vez yo lo pueda manipular mejor y para majarlo acá. This is, this is what we call a pilón. This is the secret tool for the mofongo. Mofongo, this is what we're going to do. I'll show you later. We're going to put them in here, and this is how we mash them and create the actual mofongo. All right, reach out to the Republican Dominican. They also have a mofongo. They call it um, mafu, ma mangu, mangu. I'm sorry. It's similar to ours, but I think they boiled up the plant. We fried them, so, so it will give a different taste of being fried. We got these here. Okay, we're good to go here. Now once I fry these, I'm going to um, also cook the bacon. And in the same oil, I'm going to also just fry a little bit the onions and everything, cook them up just a little bit. And I'm going to switch over here. And start cooking these in here. The oil is a little bit, a little bit cold still. Well, I'm going to go ahead and put them in anyway. And you want to have just enough oil where it's almost like a little bit more than half of the of the slice. That should do it. Okay. 
And I want this fries. Okay. Now, you come closer. While this fries, I'm gonna show you exactly when I want you to take them out because you don't want to overcook these. And I'm already getting the bacon going here. Once this bacon starts going, I'm gonna go ahead and add the onions and the garlic, put it all together, and add all the ingredients for me to mix them later to make my mofongo. And I'm okay, well, I just wanted to show you that this is about how I wanna cook the, the bacon. It's just, it's just nice and crispy. I don't wanna cook it too much more. Nice and crunchy. That's real good consistency right there. And what I'll do is, I'll just go ahead and put this aside. And I'm gonna use the same oil now, and I'm gonna go ahead and start cooking now the onions a little bit. That's really nice. Smell good. Get a few strips of bacon, and now I'll go ahead and start cooking the onions. And the garlic. I'm not burn too much, just kind of glaze them up a little bit. Okay. I'm going to put a little season to that. Just a little bit to taste. Okay, now I put this on low. It's going to slow cook there just for a second until I go ahead and switch my attention over to the plantains. Now, see the plantains here? They're beginning to get there. You see this one here? See how it is before? It's, it's a different color. It's like getting more gold. That's what you want. You want them to be nice and gold. You don't want them to be brown. So we turn them around. See how that? That's a nice color right there. Turn them around. And once these are right to the point, I will be back and I'll show you what we're gonna do then after they're totally cooked and I'll show you how to take them out. Okay, here we go. These are ready now, see? So what I'm gonna do is, I wanna still keep them here because I wanna use some of the oil. So I'm gonna put a couple of these in here. I'm gonna put about three or four at a time. And we'll use them with some oil. I'm gonna put some in there. Mind you, I also want you to know that I'm going to chop up the uh, bacon real quick in pieces. In the meantime, I'm also going to put the pork chops to cook over here, nice and medium. I'm gonna lay that here in the same oil. Okay, so now, I'm going to also put a little bit more oil in here, and one of my secrets about, instead of using the pork belly, which is the chicharron, you have to cook it and get it just right, I'm going to go ahead and show you what I do with these, with these um, pork rinds. I just go ahead and crush them a little bit. As I was saying, I'm just going to go ahead and by hand crumble a couple of these chicharrones. And uh, this will be just as, just as good, be nice and crunchy, and I'll put this in the mix. So now, here you go. So I put a few of these in here. I put a little bit of my garlic and onion. I put a little pieces of bacon. And I start getting it crunchy. And you start mashing them down, like a, sort of like a mashed potato, if you will. This is where this comes in real handy. This tool is just perfect. So I'm going to show you inside. So once we're nice and hot and everything, we just go ahead and we repeat the process. Put a couple more plantains with oil, and they won't stick. I 
put a little bit more adobo for taste. And I go again with my bacon, pork rice, my onion and ajo mixture. A little bit more oil. And I'll crush it. Yeah, put some muscle into it, okay? And it's getting, oh, it's coming nice and smooth here. Take another look there, how it's coming along. So now, I'm just going to keep on doing the same thing until I use all my little ingredients here. So, one more time, some plantains. Some of the pork rinds. And I'm gonna keep on doing this now until uh, I show you exactly how it's done, okay? We're gonna keep on mixing it, I'll be right back. Okay, we're done. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start assembling the actual mofongo. I wanna put it in this kind of a container. Uh, some people put a little oil on it so it won't stick. That's not a bad idea. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put plenty of it in here and pack it down. So just to, just to make a little summary here, I use green plantains, I use onions, garlic, a little bit of season, and then once I cooked the plantains, they had to be really green, I went ahead and cut them in small pieces, and then once they were fried, I went ahead and I cooked a little bit of the onions and the garlic, I made a little mixture with that, I also made some bacon, I also used some uh, pork rinds instead of the, pot, the pot be uh, pork bellies which is called in Spanish a chicharrón. And this is how you make it to get a form. I also went ahead and uh, once this is done here, I put in cooking the, the smoked pork chop. I'll show you that in just a second. That looks pretty good and hopefully it comes out. That's what, there you go. And what you do is I just warmed up the broth, the, I warmed it up in the micro, just a little bit on the sides outward, and a little bit on the side. There you go. And you can decorate that with a little cilantro on top, a little onion, whatever. So now once that's, I got that there, and here comes the main dish. Okay, so there you have it. You have Puerto Rican mofongo as your side. You have your smoked uh, pork chop. Now, let me tell you something. This mofongo can go with everything. You can do shrimps, you can do fish, you can do steak, churrasco, whatever your protein you wanna be, this is the perfect side of go with everything. So now, I am going to do the most important part of the deal, and I'm gonna see how this tastes. Mm. Very good. So this is, I hope you enjoyed it. Buen provecho. And if you like, go ahead and hit like, share it, and uh, go ahead and experiment and enjoy cooking. Right, thank you. Bye-bye.